On the 19th of October 1916, during a voyage from London to New York, the RMS Alunia struck a mine in the English Channel just off the Sovereign Lighthouse. It sits in about 50 foot of water and I'm off with the light lures to try and fish over what is the biggest wreck in the English Channel. So we're heading out on what is a gloriously flat, calm sea. It is unbelievably flat actually. We're going to head out to the biggest wreck in the channel. I'm going to try and use the lightest possible lures. First, first drop of the day. Just got out to a little uh, reef just outside the marina and uh, there's a nice lump down here I'm going to try. Well, we just stopped on the reef. Right, we've just come out to this lump here, so we're going to try over here. The tide's moving about one and a half knots. Glorious sunny day. A little bit of tide here. We need a bit more. And I've actually got a plug on now, this one. Just letting that drift in the tide, trying to keep it straight. Probably about 40 foot down. Well, that looks like fish. Yeah. I'm just going to move us round. You can see just a bit here, our mark gets us into position, there's a lump and we're going to go for that little lump there. It's pretty flat and featureless around it, so hopefully that will hold some bass, we'll give it a go. We've made a little detour to the ledge at Beachy Head here. We've just seen a big trawler come through though. So there are birds out here, but I often wonder whether it's the boat that they're following or there's fish, but they're not very active. There is a little rip in the water that can be a, attracting them. But a lot of this movement is because we've got a boat here and they're used to commercials chucking stuff over the side. So no signs as yet. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Just trying to position us so we can drift over this big reef here. This is the Horse of Willingdon, I think. Just trying to get that that line across there. You'll see. He'll bring the bow round. We'll get over there. This is where a skilled skipper worth his weight. Right, back onto a reef now. Mark's moving us round so we can get this drift right. And get the depth right. What I'm trying to do now is just get the depth right. Just enough, hopefully. I wanted to talk a little bit about the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning 
and who wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills, investing in yourself and personal growth. There are so many different learning communities that you can join. I've personally been enjoying Jevon Dovey's How to Make YouTube Videos at Home, and you can see it's really easy to navigate, and also an introduction to underwater photography for beginners and professionals. That's with Giovanna Milanko. So Skillshare is really good. It's ad-free. You can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. This has really been helping with some of the footage on the channel, making those little improvements. The first thousand people to use the link on my description box or my code Saltwater Angler will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That's nice coddling. Nice. Yes. Only a little, but yeah, nice little coddling. Beautiful looking. Going for another drift. Just hoping for that one last fish before we come in. But it's still an absolutely gorgeous day. What, a, and what an absolutely fantastic day for fishing. Cod. Oh, that feels much better. Just a different game in it with these rods. Light, nice light rods. Yeah, cod. Yeah, wow, well, it's just caught around its oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, nice size. Well, well done, Mark, for those codding. Uh, you can see there, that's the Sovereign Lighthouse. They're actually taking that down. Last few chances to see it as they dismantle it or blow it up. So I'm still yet to get this good fish then. I uh, really want to get one on camera. We did. I went out last week and the best I could manage was a little flounder from the kayak. And a little flounder. I thought we were getting little bites. Flounder. And as lovely as it is out here, I want a fish now. That should be fish. Well, that looks like fish. Yeah. So we're drifting across what looks like a little wreck actually. Mark's just said um, it's gone from 64 meters to seven, it's gone from 64 meters to 72. Uh, it gives you an idea of what you're fishing over. You want to be close to the wreck with the lure without getting it snagged. It's quite a slow drift, I think, Mark, would you say? Yeah, it's 1.2 knots, so it's about 1. right. 1.2 really. knots makes for a nice gentle drift. Yeah, that's in. Good. So, Mike. No. That. Get some good shots of that. Oh yes. Nice. Lovely pollock. <laughs> well, that was a hard 
fighting pollock. Look at that. What a beauty. I'd say that is six. Yeah. Six pound maybe.